Greetings students, myself, Professor Punita Verma from the Department of Physics, Kalindi College. I'm here to clear all the doubts that are raising your mind regarding whether you should choose the physics as a subject for your course of undergraduation study. The Department of Physics, Kalindi College is standing on the, on the pillars of the faculty members who are eminent scientists and who are eminent researchers and eminent teachers in their own respective fields, which are to be covered for the BSc Physics Honours as well as BSc Physical Sciences courses. The Department of Physics is being shown to you, to you here as glimpses of the laboratory photographs. There are, uh, there are laboratories available for each and every particular subject of the course that is to be covered in under either the BSc Physics Honours or Physical Sciences courses. The COVID-19 pandemic uh, protocol of wearing masks and social distancing is also presently followed for the third year students as per university rules. The laboratory staff is available for any assistance during the execution of the experiments. This library at the center for all the students as well as at the department is enriched with all the books that one requires for both the courses. There is a physics society for the students to have fun with physics. Now the question is, why should I choose physics? The scope of physics is virtually in every field. You know, if you just look around your house or in the area that you're living in, every and everything and everything I mean is totally covered by the research arena of physics, which provides a comfortable life for the human beings to live. These facts are known to you. And therefore, physics is one of the most coveted subjects that a student must take during undergraduation. The courses offered in physics are, as I mentioned, BSc Honors Physics or BSc Physical Sciences. And the physical sciences here runs with physics, computer science, and mathematics. Any honors course, students can also have physics as generic elective papers. That means here is a possibility to learn physics even if you're not interested in pursuing a career in total and physical sciences or total physical sciences only. What prospects exist after graduation in physics is a question that races into the minds of all the students. The higher education avenues after the graduation in physics are totally open for all the students who do either of these courses, be it masters of science in physics up leading to a PhD or a masters of bachelor administration MBA or MCA or a Bachelor of Education to teach in schools, or a Master of Technology, and also Law. So what is not covered? Almost nothing. Research and job opportunities for fundamental research are also covered if you are doing a BSc Honours Physics course or a Physical Sciences course. One can get admission in all central and state universities, all national laboratories, all research institutes, example, TFR, PRL, DRTO, IUAC, BARC, and so on. And that is not the end. One can even migrate to other sister fields of physics, such as energy generation, and so many applications of physics, such as nanoscience, material science, semiconductor physics, and so on and so forth. Therefore, one cannot think of any career that, that one cannot be eligible for after doing these two courses. If you talk about career and administrative services jobs, then whether it is SSC or IAS or PA, PCS or defense or railways or banking, the students doing either of these two courses are always eligible. And obviously, teaching positions in universities, colleges and polytechnics and schools always remain as one of the possible career prospects. So the world is yours to conquer. And therefore, I invite you to come and take admission in Department of Physics, Kalindi College and study either of the two courses, BSc Honors Physics or Physical Sciences. Thank you.